I'm all the way, let's see if you can see over here. I'm all the way up to the top of my legs. Brent here, speak English with this guy. And in today's English lesson, you are going to learn some English terms we use when it's snowing out. Yeah, we got a lot of snow today. Today we had a snow day. In the United States, a snow day is when teachers and students don't have to go to school. So today, I didn't have to go to school. But tonight, as the sun, you can't even see the sun, it's somewhere up there. As the sun goes down, I need to start shoveling. But I don't have to shovel everything. And I'll tell you why in just a second. Some people still have to go to work, just like my neighbor. They just need to be careful on the roads. Roads that haven't been plowed in a long time. I'm glad I don't have to go anywhere right now. The reason I don't have to shovel everything, I don't have to shovel my driveway, is because my brother comes with his truck and plows it. And he should be here in a little while. I will try to capture that on video, but I do need to shovel a path in front of the mailbox. Yeah, my brother's plow might accidentally knock over my mailbox, so I need to shovel a little path so the mail truck can deliver my mail. Ooh, it looks like we got some mail today. Yeah, even though it's uh, really snowy out, the mail usually does get delivered somehow. We have a term in English called junk mail. Junk mail is mail that gets delivered to everybody. You didn't even want it, and it just comes to your house. This looks like I have a free car wash, but you know there's some kind of catch. It's a deal that's too good to be true. It might say free, but when I go in there, they are probably going to try to get me to buy more things. As I shovel this path in front of my mailbox, let's talk about an English phrasal verb I love, and that is to bundle up. That's what I did before I came outside. I bundled up, bundled up. So cold, it's hard to talk. I bundled up. That means I put on a lot of clothing. I put on several layers of clothing. See, I have a sweatshirt on. I also have a jacket on. I have a hood on. I have a hat on. And I also have my gloves. Okay, with that done, it's not perfect. I could do a little bit better. And I probably will tomorrow once the plows have come through a couple more times, once my brother plows. But that's what it looks like so far. The next thing I need to do is go over to my neighbor's house. They are quite old. Actually, they are very old. They are in their 90s. A husband and a wife lives there. The husband is 95 and the wife is 94. So they have somebody who plows their driveway, but nobody shovels their walkway. And we'll talk about walkway when I do mine. It was hard to find where the path was supposed to be, but I think I found it. All right, I couldn't get a final picture of their walkway because the man, he, he was trying to pay me. And I don't want to do it for any money. I just want to do it for, for free to help them out. Okay, he closed the door now. But he was waving some money at me. And I said, no, no, no. So I quickly left there and he shut the door. It's getting so dark. I need to come into my garage. So let's talk about driveway and walkway in English. A driveway is exactly what it sounds like. It's a place where cars drive. Behind me is my driveway. My brother comes with his plow truck and plows it, which means gets rid of all the snow. But his plow is so big, he can't plow my walkway. My walkway is right over here. You can't see it. But it's the place where people walk to get up to the door. We call that the walkway. And I need to shovel that next. It's over here somewhere. Mm. 
my walkway is now shoveled. It's not perfect. I will come out tomorrow and clean it up a bit more once the snow stops, but it's still snowing, so the job I'm doing is not going to be perfect. The job could be a little better. The next place I need to shovel is where my oil gets delivered. All right, luckily there is a street light, so you might be able to see me a little bit better over here, but I get oil delivered right through this path here. Or there will be a path in a minute once I shovel it out, so to heat my house a big oil truck needs to come and deliver oil that's how i keep my house warm in the winter that's how i warm up my water when i take a shower my neighbor also has an oil path but of course they are too old to shovel let me tell you what happens with their oil path my neighbor way over there he has a snowblower. I'll put up there what a snowblower looks like, and he does their oil path. Can you see it or is it too dark? So all the way back there, a truck will come. The truck doesn't go back there, just the hose for oil. So a truck, when they need oil delivered, will park here. The person who has the oil truck will bring a hose over to their house and fill their oil up. I'll show you where my oil gets delivered before I shovel the path. That should be fun, trying to get through the snow. Yeah, like, I'm all the way, let's see if you can see over here. I'm all the way up to the top of my legs. We might call them my thighs, right at the top there. But I'll try to get, it's, it's, good, it's not gonna be as deep. So this snow is only up to my knees now. Not sure if you can see that, but there is a pipe here and that's where my oil gets delivered. Thanks man. Tired? Extremely. I bet. It's very late. I'm about to go to bed, but my brother says we got about 16 inches of snow. I will put that in centimeters because I don't know what that is. He's leaving now. And we're supposed to get more snow in just two days. Well, it looks like it's going to be too dark to continue this lesson I have shoveling to do. I hope this lesson was helpful for you. If you're looking for more English, take a look right up there. I did an English lesson at a coffee shop. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time. I hope to see you next time. Can you even, can you even see me now? Whoa, let's get back over this snowbank. Who called this thing a snowbank, by the way?